Hi folks, recently I'm playing with uh, this small cheap RF unit. I bought from China. Actually I bought plenty of these so I can play with them freely. Uh, the first thing I realized when I started to wire things up that uh, it's not really straightforward how the pins are numbered. So I recommend you to uh, hold it like this so the crystal is, is underneath and uh, uh, it's facing to you. So the pins are in the left side and the leftmost, upmost uh, pin is the pin 1 and then the right is pin 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the second thing I realized that uh, because of the pins are not lined straight but in two rows uh, it's really hard to prototype with these modules. So what I did is I've created this uh, small cabling system it's from ribbon cable and in this side there are uh, female pin adapters and here you can see it's in a, in a row so I can put it in the Arduino these are actually two uh, rows and uh, if I find the right wiring I just plug it in what I found out this connection have to be very snug so you have to take care about this connection so I can line it up with the Arduino like, like so and the ground goes to the ground and the power goes to the 3.3 volts you have to take care about this because this unit works from 3.3 volts but the logic level can be 5 volts so I've uh, created a test code for this I'm using the MIRF library for this as you can see, I plugged the C connection to the uh, pin 9 and the CSN connection to the pin 10. So the cable select and the cable enable will be in the same line. So I've picked up the sample code for this MIRF library and I created a small testing uh, setup for this. But you can see here. Actually, when I'm testing my software, I set up two Arduinos parallel with two uh, USB ports. You can see here I have two setups. So each one has a single Arduino instance running and I, I can monitor the, the serial outputs of these separately, side by side. What you can see here I've set up two uh, units. This one I call the server. It doesn't have anything, just the RF module itself. And then uh, this other unit. What can we see in this unit? First of all, here is a Arduino Nano, which is wired with the RF module. Of course, the 3.3 volts are connected to the power. And uh, from the digital aid to 13 will uh, hook up in line. The Nokia LCD display is connected to these digital pins and what you can see here is a switch but I can change the channel so it's connected to digital 8 pin. So everything is powered with this lithium ion battery here this battery produces 3.7 volts which is enough for the nano and it can still provide 3.3 volts in the output so when I power it up I just connect the battery here you can see the screen shows up and what you can see that we are in the channel 10 and we have packet loss of 100% because the other unit is not switched on so let's switch on the other unit and of course the packet loss is immediately reduced if I press the button here the channels are switching this works that this unit 
communicates with the other that we are about to change the channel and when the echo is received then the other unit understood the command then both the unit switches the channel so let's start the test outdoors I will leave this unit in this table and with the other one I will walk around in the garden and see uh, what uh, values we can measure here I'm already 10 meters away from the unit and as you can see there is no packet loss at all and the round trip is, is very fast I cannot go further right now, but you can see that unit is over there in front of the house. Other unit, and we are here. I'm still able to uh, communicate with the other unit. And it really does matter if there is something front, front of the view, so it's only in clear view. Now let's make some indoor tests. I will turn on the backlights for the screen for you. Maybe it's much clearer now to see. So I will leave this unit here like so. You see the module here. And I will walk around with the other unit in the house. As I'm uh, about 6 meters away, but uh, there is a wall hiding the other antenna still still very very good now I am about 10 meters away from the other unit here you have this test with these small and cheap radios I hope you like it what impressed me very much is that we, we didn't have any defected or mixed packages so actually the checksum is not needed for this procedure or this test so I will make a simplified code and links below so this test turned out really good I like this radio very much feel free to download the testing code and make some tests with different frequencies different channels probably if you can detect some interferences with for example, Wi-Fi frequency, then please make some comments with it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.